In front of me today, I have an innovation elevator button. Today, I'm going to show you how it works and how to wire it. Let's get started. So today we're taking a look at these innovation buttons, and these are commonly found on newer or modernized elevators. And they come in a bunch of different variants. Now the one we'll be taking a look at today is on an innovation sales sample. And this one is the PB-39 type of button. So just taking a look at the fixture from the front, you can see we have a braille, the button itself, and the little innovation industries plate on the top. Turning this thing around, we can take a look at what actually makes up the button. You can see on the left there, there's the circuit board, and then we have the two brackets which hold the braille and logo in place. It's actually a pretty simple button. Now taking a closer look at the circuit board, you can see the Innovation Industries logo up there. Here we have the voltage which this board can run, 6 to 15 volts, and the color on the right. Now you'll notice there are four connectors on either side of the board, and each one has a common, a normally open, a normally closed, and an LED connection. Now let's go ahead and take this button completely apart and see how it works. And in order to do that, we need to take the button off by removing these two nuts on either side of the board. And here's what the button looks like outside of the panel. To take it apart, remove the plastic ring around the button, turn it over, and remove the circuit board by pulling apart the two plastic pins. And then remove the front piece of plastic by using a small screwdriver to bend back the pins holding the front piece of plastic onto the button. Once you do that, it comes right off. And then the button itself can be removed, and all that's left are two small springs. So here we have all the pieces to the button laid out in front of us, and let's go ahead and take a look at each one individually. So the first piece we have here is the actual button part itself, and it's pretty solid, pretty durable. You can see it's made out of some durable plastic, and it has a piece of metal on the top. Here we have the little ring which goes around the button. It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Here is one of the pieces of the frame. This is what clicks onto the base and kind of holds it together. And here we have the actual base, which is what holds all the other components. Here we have the circuit board. Now there's two small little micro switches, and that's what gives the button its clickiness. And we have the small little LEDs in the middle, which light up the button. Turning it over, we have the back side with the little wire connectors. So now let's put the button back together and show you how to wire it up to make it do something cool. So you only need a couple things for this project. You need a 9 volt battery holder, a 9 volt battery, and a small wire. So the first step is to open up the connector for the common pin on one side of the board and then taking your positive end of the 9 volt battery connector and putting it in and then tightening it down. Next, you want to open up the normally open and the lamp connector and take your small wire and put it in between those two pins, then tighten them both down. Finally, you want to turn your board to the other set of connections, where you'll take the negative end of your battery pack and put it into the lamp connector and tighten it down. Once you've done that, connect and secure your 9 volt battery, turn it over, and give it a test. It should light up. So that is how to wire innovation elevator buttons. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something from it. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.